Hey everybody, I'm Daisy Lopez and I work at the UNLV Bike Shop. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can clean and lubricate your chain and wash your bike at home. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This is a setup I have at home. Um, I'm using my trainer to hold up my bike. This is what I use when I do my indoor cycling. Um, if you don't have a setup like this at home, you can just turn your bike upside down. Um, this is just more convenient for me. And these are the things I'll be using today. So I have two toothbrushes, a denture brush, a dry sponge, a hair tie. If you don't have any hair ties, you can do a rubber band, use a rubber band. Um, I have white lightning degreaser, and then I have tri -flow lubricant. You don't need to get these brands. These are just the ones I use, so I keep using them. Um, I have two towels here. This one's slightly damp, and this one's dry. Then I have LA's Totally Awesome All-Purpose Cleaner. Um, you're supposed to dilute this stuff, so I did. I got some in this tiny bottle. It's 10 parts water, one part cleaner. And then I have this towel and soapy water. I use Dawn's Liquid Dish Soap. You can use any dish soap you want. I just like Dawn's um, because it's tough on grease and it's unscented and it has ducks on the bottle. Um, so yeah, um, that's basically it. So the first thing we're gonna do is Degrease the chain. Um, so I'm going to use my white lightning degreaser and I'm just going to spray it on. So I'm just going to spray it on my chain. And then I'm going to go through my gears um, to make sure my sprocket gets some in there. Um, so yeah. Once I've done that, I'm going to get my two toothbrushes and hair tie and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them facing each other and then have them meet at the middle like in the middle um, and then I'm going to use my hair tie and tie them together they're stuck ha 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 <laughs> that's so weird um so yeah so now I have this little handy thing um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate them like that, um, and then put one under my chain and put one over so that they meet, and then I'm just going to pedal. Um, so I'm just going to remove them once I've done that, and I'm going to use my dry towel that's, it looks dirty but it's clean. Um, to wipe off the degreaser. So once I've done that, I'm going to get my slightly damp cloth and go through that again. So once you've wiped off all the degreaser, um, you want to let your chain and sprocket dry. Otherwise, when you put the lubricant, it's not going to stay on. Um, so that's what I'm going to do and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now that my chain and sprocket are dry, I'm going to use my lubricant um, and just spray it on my chain as I pedal. Um, so once I've done that, I'm going to get my dry cloth and wipe my chain. Um, you don't want to leave any excess lubricant on there because it'll attract like dust and dirt. Um, which is not good either. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, 
Okay, so now that my chain and sprocket are lubricated, I'm going to clean the rest of my bike frame. Um, so for that, I'm going to take both my wheels off um, and turn my bike upside down. Okay, so I took off my wheels and now I am going to get the towel I had in my soapy water. Um, so I basically like to get it so it's damp and not dripping wet. Um, and I'm just gonna wipe down my frame. Um, it's not that dirty because I haven't really uh, gone out much. So what I forgot to mention is that I used a denture brush to clean my sprocket. Um, you can do that when you're degreasing your chain. So I put my bike back together and that concludes this video. Um, I hope you guys have clean bikes. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully the bike shop will be open if you don't want to do your own bike cleaning and uh, we can do that for you. Uh, also want to point out that I'm on fake grass, so no grass was harmed in the making of this film. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a great day.